As war clouds gathered above Spanish colonies in the Western Hemisphere during the end of the 19th century, the United States moved quickly to modernize its coastal defenses. The remnants of that effort can still be seen on the farthest reaches of St. Helena Island. Tucked beneath the maritime forest on Land's End Road is Fort Fremont. Though no shot was ever fired from the fortress and it eventually was abandoned by the U.S. government, it is historically significant for its concrete and steel construction that are emblematic of its time. For decades, however, it lay in disrepair until a Beaufort County community group took action to preserve this piece of local and American history. This is the story of Fort Fremont and the effort to preserve it. Fort Fremont overlooks the stretch of the intercoastal waterway that runs from Port Royal to the Beaufort River. On the opposite shore was the U.S. Naval Station on Paris Island, which today is the main East Coast training depot for Marine recruits. At the turn of the 20th century, Paris Island, which sits astride one of the deepest natural harbors on the East Coast, was a key repair and coaling station for the U.S. Atlantic Fleet. Fort Fremont was designed to protect the Naval Station during the Spanish-American War. It was one of six new fortifications along the southeastern coast to safeguard strategic assets. The Spanish-American War ended in December 1898, before Fort Fremont was ever completed. However, the Army Corps of Engineers continued the project, which was finished by 1900 using local labor. The fort was named for Major General John C. Fremont, an explorer, the first presidential candidate of the Republican Party in 1856, and a Civil War general. Fremont was born in Savannah, Georgia, and attended the College of Charleston. The fort site eventually consisted of 170 acres with numerous outbuildings, including an administration building, guardhouse, barracks, hospital, stable, mess hall, bakery, commissary, post exchange, a lavatory, and a water tower. Within a few years, there were six large guns and 108 soldiers stationed there. The main weapon systems consisted of battery Jessup which included three 10-inch, breech-loaded, disappearing cannons, and battery Fornets, which had two 4.7-inch rapid-fire guns. These five gun emplacements, built behind bastions of earth, logs, and concrete, became some of the highest ground on the coastal islands. However, by 1906, the War Department decided to phase out the post at Fort Fremont because of budgetary restraints. Nonetheless, the garrison stationed there continued to conduct artillery practice and maintained the fort and its guns until 1911. The guns at Fort Fremont stayed in place until World War I. Fort Fremont was officially deactivated in 1912 and the land put on the market in 1921. What remained of the property by June 1930 was sold at public auction by the War Department. Several private individuals acquired the property on St. Helena Island over the years. By 1946, the property was carved up into beach lots. In 1951, Mr. and Mrs. G.B. Shermeyer renovated the hospital structure into a hunting and fishing lodge. In 1972, the concrete gun emplacements were the property of Mr. and Mrs. G.G. Dowling. Over time, the ruins of Fort Fremont were overtaken by the maritime forest, and the fort became an attractive nuisance. In October 2004, the Trust for Public Land in Beaufort County paid $5.4 million to two landowners so that what remained of Fort Fremont could be turned into a beachfront park. Minor improvements, cleanup, a sign, and fencing were installed. Subsequently, Beaufort County Council allocated funds to improve the preserve. The Friends of Fort Fremont installed temporary interpretive signage, stairs, and railings, and cleaned the external graffiti. Listed in the National Register May 5, 2010, Fort Fremont is considered historically significant because it is representative of the coastal defenses built during the Spanish-American War era with upgraded design and weapon systems. In May 2019, the fort was temporarily closed to visitors so that an interpretive center, picnic pavilion, and other amenities could be constructed. In the interim, the Friends of Fort Fremont arranged for a temporary display at the St. Helena branch of the Beaufort Public Library a lecture series, and a temporary exhibit at the Beaufort History Museum. The museum is proud to work with Friends of Fort Fremont to share the story of this remarkable edifice.